The lighting is atrocious, but we're just gonna go with it. It's gloomy outside. This is my new setup. I'm refreshed. I'm ready to just play a game, eat dinner, just relax. This was a long day, but you're not here for that. I was really excited about uh, filming this video, which is gonna be uh, like the title says, I'm reading the first chapter of a few books and it's gonna be a romance edition uh, because with the summer I just feel like that's the perfect uh, type of read even though also thrillers. I'm already actually doing that for another vlog. But this one I was excited to do it, however the time escaped from me a little bit. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to post it on time, one. And two, I had to reduce the amount of books I was planning on trying out. But it's okay, it's my first time getting back into that type of videos and I have to remember that it does take me a little bit more time to film and prep. Intro over, let's start. I'm gonna just mention the titles and put the pictures of the three books I've selected. So the first one is one I, ha I had mentioned previously in my summer TBR, I think that was. This is Something Wilder by Christina Lauren. I've read one book from them before and I enjoyed it to a point. Not everything was perfect in it. The writing wasn't too bad and romance sometimes for me, contemporary romance specifically, tends to be a bit too cheesy for my taste. So I want to make sure that I'm reading from authors that have the writing style that I would be enjoying. With uh, this pair of authors, I knew it was okay, so I thought I would pick it up. I believe it's also about fake treasure hunts and the main character is a guide and she knows they're fake but i don't think everybody else is who sign up for them knows that and in the next group that she's taking care of there is her ex-boyfriend i'm actually really excited to even read it not even just read the beginning but we'll see if the beginning is intriguing as well all right the next one is forget me not by julie soto i've heard a lot about this book like a lot of people mentioning this book or maybe the same people are mentioning it often but I think people like it I don't know much but only that I think it's also a second chance romance the main character is a wedding planner and I really like that I like movies that are based around wedding, wedding planning so I think in a book form I might also enjoy it so that's a perfect way to try it out and then I had to find another one because the one that I actually wanted to check out as well is My Roommate is a Vampire but this one doesn't come out until the end of August and I want to post this video at the beginning of August so instead I replaced it with Meet Me at the Lake by Carly Fortune but I've seen this book on a lot of lists I think this was a highly anticipated release for 2023 by people the cover is beautiful I gotta say that was really the deciding factor in choosing this book I don't know really anything about it uh just that hopefully it's gonna be at a lake and if it is oh my god i love stories that happen at lakes so i'm hoping this is it i think the main character is a little bit older and you know what this might be a second chance romance as well so we might be reading three romance books that are second chance romances that's exciting okay that's cool i'm excited let's go let's do it Okay, I'm back. I finished to read the first chapters of two of the books I selected. I still need to read Forget Me Not. Um, but let me just talk a little bit about my thoughts. Probably the worst lighting you'll ever see, but whatever. I started my reading with Something Wilder by Christina Lauren. And I read about 25 pages. I'm around 9% in. And I... Oh, cat! Let's do that again. I really, really connected with it. The writing is easy to read and the storyline is intriguing and it has dual uh, perspectives, which I do enjoy. So we see the perspective of the main character and then we see the perspective of the guy that she's gonna spend time with. It's honestly intriguing. I don't know how heavy it's gonna get because when we open up, the main character is supposed to take over the ranch of her family and she is super excited about it. She just met the love interest uh, like five months ago and it's like they're gonna be together forever everything is great and her dad is living on another adventure to find 
treasure I'm assuming and then it's like a few years later she lost the ranch no longer with the boyfriend and her dad is dead I think I think so and so she's struggling I'm excited to see where this is gonna go how they're gonna feel when they're gonna meet each other I honestly really enjoyed it so far I'm only 10% in but that really made me want to continue reading and then the second book I read was I mean I didn't read it fully the first chapter as I meant uh, was Meet Me at the Lake by Carly Fortune and I'm 12% in I'm on page 33 on the ebook version. I was intrigued at first. Uh, we're basically following the main character who is coming back to her um, lake resort that her mom owned and it's kind of like a quaint family business. It's really cute, it's on the lake. Unfortunately, her mom passed away and she inherited it. So now she owns it and she has to run it. So it's everything is really fresh. So I think we're gonna deal with some of that as well. And her ex-boyfriend is the manager of the resort slash hotel. I don't know how big this is, to be honest, in terms of the building. Anyway, not that important. And we also met Will, who I think is gonna be the love interest of the story. She had spent a day with like 10 years ago and they had promised to meet each other again a year later but he never showed and now he's here and he's here to help her with the business so i was all into it until we met will and that storyline because i came into that book not knowing what the story was going to be about but i don't know if there's gonna be like cheating or anything in the past and i don't really like that and I don't really like when there's like an ex-boyfriend around. I thought maybe the relationship was gonna be with them and so... I don't know, it just like doesn't really interest me that much. I think the writing is fine. I think the story might be potentially be interesting to some of you and the lake setting so far was really good. I enjoyed what I read, but I'm not interested in the plot necessarily. So I don't think I would be continuing with that. So the last book is Forget Me Not. I need to read that. I don't know when I'm gonna be doing an update, but probably tomorrow. That's it. All right, it's the next day. In the morning, I know I look a bit tired, but I've been awake for a little bit. I finished reading the first couple of chapters of Forget Me Not. I actually read up until, I think it was like 14%, like 35 pages or something. So the story is about a wedding planner who is proposed to do a YouTuber's wedding. And so she's really excited about it. It might bring her more attention. However, they want to work with a specific florist and that person is i think the love interest something happened in the past with her and the florist and they are clearly not together there's clearly something here there but still we haven't really gone to what happened yet the beginning was mostly about the wedding planning and details like this which i really really enjoyed however i don't know that i love the writing style it's very simplistic easy to read but it's all in the first person present and that's usually not something i love so i don't know yet and the story really didn't grab my attention even though i do enjoy the whole wedding planning part of it i don't know that i'm necessarily enjoying the main character's attitude and then the plot in general because nothing really happened but then again it's only about 15 percent in so to recap the whole video i read the first few chapters of three books my favorite and the one i'm gonna keep on reading is something wilder by christina lauren just because of the atmosphere and the plot that's really what was interesting to me and also we did meet both of the love interests i guess so it made me feel more connected and willing to know what happened to them the second book i read was meet me at the lake and I didn't really enjoy the beginning of it. Nothing really grabbed my attention. So I don't think I would be continuing with that book, especially because I couldn't tell if the ex that was in the story compared to the love interest was gonna be 
some sort of plot as well something was gonna happen with him and I usually don't like that so I'm not seeing myself continuing with it and then the last book Forget Me Not by Julie Soto I might continue with it but it would be if I want to read something quickly and that's light I think that would be it because in terms of the writing style it doesn't really take itself too seriously it's very informal and even though it's super easy to read it's not really what I'm in the mood for at this time anyway so I'm really excited that I read a little bit of all those books it was nice to get into romance a little bit contemporary books in general are not my thing add romance to it and I might be a little bit more interested so that's it i hope you enjoyed this let me know if you read any of those books if you like them if you would recommend for me to push through for some of them if you enjoyed this video and you'd like for me to do more of those with different themes each time just give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos as well thank you so much for watching bye